Hello, I'm Andrew Kaunitz, Professor and Associate Chair in the OBGYN Department, University of Florida College of Medicine in Jacksonville. Today, I'd like to discuss good news from Britain regarding use of oral contraceptives and cancer risk. Many of those viewing this video see patients who seek out our advice regarding contraception. And a common concern is that hormonal birth control increases cancer risk. A new study based on data from the UK clarifies how use of oral contraceptives, or OC, impacts risk of cancer. Investigators used the UK Biobank, which includes hundreds of thousands of individuals recruited between 2006 and 2010 as well as national databases to assess associations between OC use and risk of breast, ovarian, and endometrial cancer in women born between 1939 and 1970. Among more than a quarter million women, more than three quarters had used or were currently using the pill. Overall use of OCs was associated with an approximately 30% reduced risk of ovarian and endometrial cancer. In contrast, the risk of breast cancer was similar among ever and never users. Among women followed to age 55, results were similar for the two GYN cancers. However, followed out to age 55, OC use was associated with a 10% higher risk for breast cancer. With 20 or more years of OC use, risk reduction became even more robust for ovarian and endometrial cancer, 40% and greater than 60% respectively. Among long-term users, risk of breast cancer was similar to that of never users. These findings clarify that controversy regarding the association of breast cancer with OC use may reflect different study methodologies, particularly with respect to timing. The authors suggest that while lifetime risk of breast cancer may not differ between ever and never users, there appears to be a transient small elevated risk associated with OC use. Fears that taking the pill can increase breast cancer have prevented many women from using this convenient form of birth control. This study provides reassurance regarding the overall safety of oral contraceptives with respect to cancer. At the same time, it reinforces that when used long-term, as the authors state, the pill dramatically reduces risk of ovarian and endometrial cancer, and this protection persists for decades. These findings will be useful in informing how we counsel patients regarding benefits and risks of oral contraceptives. Thank you for the honor of your time. I'm Andrew Kaunitz.